Welcome. This tutorial will look at the refactoring feature in Business Process Diagram when using Visual Paradigm's Business Process Visual Architect. To begin with, let's see why we need the refactoring feature in the first place. In an ideal world of system design, we'd probably want to create a generic library to store common components for reuse. You make changes in the library once only, and all projects that point to it will see those changes too. But what if you find out what should go into the library only after you've drawn it in the business process diagram? Too late? With refactoring, absolutely not. To do refactoring, two project files are required. You will need an existing business process diagram in a project with a pool that you want to make a reusable component off of. Then you would need a generic library or what we called a base library to store reusable components. The following video clip will show you how to extract a pool in a business process diagram to put it into a generic library for other projects to point to. For example, you want to extract a pool called Fire Safety Department in your project. First, right click on the project node. Select Manage Dependent Project. Here, we're going to specify the base library. Click Add, select the file, click Open, click Close. In the diagram, right click on that pool, choose Selection, Select in Tree. And then over here, right click on that pool, Select Refactor to Dependent Project. Click Yes to begin refactoring. In this dialog box, by default, this box is checked. But in our case, we want to uncheck it because we want to extract the pool only and not its related tasks. Click Continue. Click Yes to check the master views. After review it here, click Continue. And we want to clear the master views because we want to keep the children in the current working project. So select the diagram here in the left. Click Clear Master Views here. Click Yes to confirm clearing. Click Yes to review what items to be included in the refactoring. After we review it here, click Continue. Click OK, and the refactoring is done. How do we know if the refactoring actually succeeded? To verify if the refactoring actually succeeded, Reopen the base library project. You should see the pool that you've just extracted. If you make a change here, you should see the same change in the original diagram. For example, you can make a name change, select the pool here, right click to select rename. Click OK. Now reopen your original project. Click Yes to save the project. You should see the same name change here.